All right, Timothy James Gould, March 13th, 2013, 4.14 p.m. Last night, March 12th, saw my West African egg-eating snake, unknown species, presumably Daisy Peltis fasciata, by the vendor Outback Reptiles. I presume Daisy Peltis Gonzi Gonzi or Daisy Peltis in Ornata. This is now the fourth egg of a batch of 16 I collected last Friday the 8th from Magic Wings in Deerfield, Massachusetts. Seven of the eggs which were said to be fresh laid within five days. The other nine unknown. As anybody who has watched my first video, West African egg-eating snake attempts eating egg with birds, knows that the first three he tried to consume which had birds in them were of the unknown batch, unknown laying date, and proved to have quite the developed birds. This egg actually came from the fresh batch, which was said to have been laid within five days and it's still pretty fat. Having yet to take it out, which I will do in this video, to see if there is a bird, I presume there is. I also know it is of the fresh batch because of the nest. The eggs to the left and in back are the fresh batch. The eggs to the right and in front are the unknown batch. The one in the back Near those metal prongs hanging on the nest. That was a slot that was empty this morning. Now, I will lay down the camera as I take this out for studying. All right, now let's see what we have here. You see there are a bunch of bugs, a little cleanup crew there. They're harmless, they show up on every egg. Actually, I'm first going to do is rinse this egg like I do with the others. Be right back. been rinsed. What do we have here? Looks to be a somewhat partially developed bird. I will zoom in momentarily. As we can see, there are some peculiar dark blobs in the yolk. I do acknowledge it smells pretty bad. Makes me wonder if the egg 
was fertile or infertile. And this leads me to a new theory. In the first video I mentioned one of two possible theories. One, that egg-eating snakes cannot detect the freshness of an egg as has always been believed, and instead can detect the fertility of the eggs. In which case, the three eggs of the first video which held birds were obviously fertile, pretty far into development. Yet, theory two could be that agony snakes can develop, can develop the freshness or stage of development, but does not affect them, and they will consume whatever yolk they can. Again, do note from the description of my first video that my snake has been well fed in the 11 months I've had him. This is now his 36th egg. So there shouldn't have been any need to be desperate to get the little yolk that he possibly could have from the three eggs with birds. And this one here, by the smell and appearance, might be infertile. My new theory this morning before cracking to this egg was that perhaps it could detect the fertility and would maybe ignore infertile eggs. This fresh batch laid within five days was also said this morning, once I called magic wings, to have been from a mother that has never been with males, only a baby chick. So infertility is a strong possibility. That is why I believe my snake saw was staying away from them. Obviously this proves it wrong. Why he didn't ingest all the yolk within lead me to believe that maybe they can't even detect fertility also. That perhaps they'll consume just about any egg that is not dried out. And if they are cracking and passing down the yolk, if they feel or taste it as infertile, and therefore not good, they may spit out the rest without consuming most of it. Definitely hoping these videos will aid science or trigger new theories or thoughts in you viewers. Please post away in the comments with any thoughts that you have. My latest theory would be that they cannot detect the freshness or stage of development due to the first three eggs that had birds in them and that maybe they can detect the fertility. Or given this egg, if it in fact was infertile, Perhaps they cannot detect the fertility until they crack and start ingesting the yolk. And say, ew, this is disgusting, and spit up the rest. I believe that's it. We will call a wrap on this fourth egg of peculiarity. Thank you for watching.